Welcome back to Weekend Out. My name is Gaurav. Naam to suna hoga. See, it's time for refueling once again. And by refueling, I'm not talking about refueling our cars. I'm talking about refueling our bodies. So time for a brand new restaurant. Now, going to a restaurant is like a routine thing, right? I show you a restaurant every single week. We sit in a car, drive for 20 minutes. We're at the restaurant. But today, the restaurant that I'm going to show you is a completely different experience. For that, we're going to take a long drive. We're going to go into the middle of the desert, and then we're going to sit and have a great meal together. Now, this is going to be a meal that you're going to thank me for showing you. All you got to do right now is follow me. Okay, so enough of suspense now. I am not going to keep you guessing as to where I'm taking you. I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm going to take you to one of the most luxurious desert resorts in the Middle East. Now, this is the Al Maha Desert Resort. I'm very sure that you must have heard about this. Uh, th this is one of the best properties that there is in this region. You know, it's actually in the middle of Dubai. It's in the middle of the desert. Right now, I'm on the Alain Road. I'm on my way. So, if you've ever been to Dubai Outlet Mall, I think from there it will take you about 30 minutes more max. Dubai Conservation Center, you have two options. Uh, either you call up Al Maha and they send a four-wheel drive to pick you up, which takes you through this 15-minute drive to Al Maha, uh, and this drive actually takes you through the desert. This cuts through the desert. Uh, the entire road is uh, not a proper road. It's slightly bumpy, right? Uh, but I have decided to take this, and you'll find out why. I decided to drive myself because I wanted to stop at every picture point. Now this is quite a scenic uh, drive right up to Al Maha Desert Resort. Desert all around you, and this is the Arabian wildlife. What you see is the Arabian oryx. And right now, I think I've, I'm lucky. I've come when it's feeding time for them, so they're actually feeding on uh, some greens put for them. Al Maha Desert Resort and Spa is the center of Dubai's heritage and conservation efforts. Lies within a green and verdant oasis amongst some of Arabia's most impressive dune and desert landscapes. Resembling an ancient Bedouin camp, this secluded, internationally awarded hideaway resort offers a personal and an extremely unique experience of the region's history and hospitality in absolute comfort. Omaha Desert Resort was conceived in uh, 1998 by His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, Chairman of Emirates Airline, together with a group of consultants, and they decided to build something truly unique, cameo-style, private luxury resort out in the desert. The total reserve area now covers 225 square kilometers, and Omaha Resort is the only property operating within this large and extensive desert area. Our aim has always been to retain the exclusivity and the privacy at Omaha but we would also like to create greater awareness of the resort. Al Maha Desert Resort and Spa is a tribute to traditional life in the Arabian desert. Built in the style of an ancient Bedouin settlement, the neutral toned tents shade individual suites of understated modern luxury. Each private suite is furnished with original, unique and rare collections of regional artwork and antiques. Each suite has a spacious bathroom and luxurious amenities along with facilities of temperature controlled pools and panoramic views stretching across the scenic sand dunes. The 
service is really good and the food is excellent. It's just been absolutely great. The staff, the greetings and everyone is, is, is impeccable. It's been excellent five star service and we can't complain, haven't got any complaints so far. Fantastic scenery, lovely environment to be in. Quite a few activities to get involved with. Generally very good. I think it's nice to escape from the city and everything. It's uh, very isolated out here. So uh, it's nice to, you know, be in the wilderness. Probably the best most amazing place we've ever stayed in around the world. It's really stunning. It's very special. I was told that apart from beautiful scenic views of the desert and just relaxing in the suites, the resort has much more to offer. They have an amazing list of activities for their guests to choose from. But for me, I was tempted to try them all. And so, I started with the nature walk. At 6.30, it's quite early in the morning, but uh, if you want to really capture the beauty of this place, it's the right time to be awake, especially now in winter, a nice, frisk, cool morning. Uh, it's also when the, act uh, the animals are most active. In the early mornings, it gets quite hot in the middle of the day, of course, being the desert, so in the early mornings, it's nice and cool for them. So it's just nice to go take a walk around. We'll show you a little bit of the natural uh, flora and fauna, a few of the natural species of animals, and uh, just take a lovely walk in the desert, mainly focusing a lot on uh, the tracks because in the night, a lot of these animals are nocturnal, so in the night they leave a lovely, almost a painting of what's going on in the night on the sand dune. So it's just a nice time to connect with nature in the morning. With the nature walk, the call time is a bit of an issue if you're not an early riser. But just push yourself a bit more, as these mornings, I assure you, will leave you speechless. It will imprint a picture on your mind that you will not forget for a long, long time.